recovering the gold that we lost. Check that stuff out. Well, this is part two of crushing the slag for gold and recovering uh, from our first year of smelting. So what you see here is a bear, uh, bucket of uh, all the smaller material. It contains some of the wool from the furnace and all kinds of crucibles. That was the word I couldn't remember last time because I was making sure I was super safe. And that's what we're gonna be after this time. So I'm gonna do that in a time lapse. Kick back and enjoy the, the sights and sounds of my neighbors and some music. All right, we have a fan on. There's a lot of uh, really bad dust getting picked up here. As you can see, we have all kinds of different colored slag here. We have this really dark red slag, black, white matte phases. Let me get you a matte face here. There's all kinds of matte phases. Get you a nice chunk of that. Right there. That's a matte phase. We've got big, big pieces of matte. Look at this one. So when you break these up, they're solid black. They're just oxidized on the outside, but there's gold right there. I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but there's gold right there. Put the bigger classifier out here to bust up some chunks. Oh, wrong one. Uh, gosh darn it. I'll just do it by sight. Just worried about ones that might clog up the feed throat on the grinder white chunk I was showing you earlier. Kind of got a bluish greenish tinge to it. And there it is right there. There's the inside. It's pretty black looking. But uh, if I hold it up to the sun it's pretty there's some, some bubbles in there and some greenish looking slag.
you know, we got stuff like this, which is an amalgamation of all kinds of metals and fire brick and gold and I'm having a feeling this is probably going to be better than the first round. But what we missed. I have that in the snuffer in the same container from when we cut last time. We've been hanging out in the shed. Lonely. Waiting for its family right here to rejoin them. So we'll redo that. We're going to do that today. We got a coupon right here. You know, copper on there. good enough for me. We got our fines here. And our big stuff. And uh, here, let's just do this right here. Huh? Get the grinder set up, or the, uh, Pressure set up, whatever you want to call it, and let's get her going. That sounds good. But we're going to Borrows. Got the magnetics from the first round, the gold and the rest of the junk from the first round of panning. Okay. And we're gonna do the same thing that we did in the first episode. Now if you haven't seen that, go check it out right here. I think it's right there, maybe over here. Over here. Go watch it first. Don't watch this yet. You don't know what you're watching. <laughs> Check it out. Alright, so let's do it. I'm gonna dump the magnetics in here because I need this vestibule. Vestibule vestibule. I need this device for stupid. And we will spill some, but we'll sweep it all back on off the table. And we'll miss some. But this was all gold that was trapped. 
so it's all GG's. Come on. Kind of crazy. Kind of crazy. That's all my fault. I mean, I threw these pieces in there from the point on the ground. You know.
said, I was uh, going to be clean about this. I did my very best. I know this might piss some people off that I spilled so much. I'm sorry. I did my very best with what I've got and the setup that I've been able to figure out that works best for this Monday night, which I absolutely love. All the while, I gotta get one of those newer ones or something with that little feed tube. Oh man. So far, I've built lizards. He had a blue one that had some weird little funnels hooked up to some laundry tube in. Seemed to work for him, but it was gonna pain in the butt to get all the gold out of the little riffles in there. Just the same as the dry wash vacuum, you know? But, anyways, anyhow, this is what we've got for the magnetics. And like we did last time, here's my container. I kind of just want to run them again, even though it's pain in the butt. We basically doubled up on magnetics. Whew. Let me go get a classifier up there. Alright, alright. Let's get some this big stuff out. Lowest way to go.
do the same thing that we did last time. Black sands are going to go in a separate container. And we're going to do a separate experiment with that. Shout out to Richard B. He's going to help me out with that. And now, sorry, I'm trying to coordinate things here. Uh, fill this up here with our black sands and our magnetic materials. And I'm going to go get a Garrett set loose. And we're going to start panning this stuff off. This is the material that we use. This is what we get put away. And I'll be right back. All right. I think we're ready. So if last time is going to be any indication of what we saw, we're going to see some new gold. And it's going to be nasty. It's probably not going to be able to see much. stuff man don't do this at home i am not a trained professional Look at all that. Yum, yum, yum. Thank you. Go inside and watch a movie, okay? Thank you. Keep coming. Yeah. I'll just have to clean up a little bit, okay? A lot of it. <laughs> Pretty good out of the head of the thing I do is turn it around. We're going to be doing more here soon. Uh, ooh, my goodness. I see a lot of fine gold. See all that copper up there. That's what we're trying to get out.
Look at that. That's good there. Got a lot of cleaning to do. I see some huge pieces of gold. Look at that. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh, what? That's lead there. The brown stuff is lead, or the gray, I mean. Whoa. That's all gold, the yellow. Let's get in here. Pull the trigger. I can pan it all out. I pan bigger, bigger amounts at once.
This reminds me of something I played with recently, but it doesn't smell good. Except it's really. Oh my goodness, look at those giant copper pieces. Wow, that's a huge copper nugget. Oh, There's so much gold in there. Look at that. Jiminy Christmas. Look at all that. I'm gonna finish getting this cleaned up and I'll show you what we got. All right, take a look. Here's the copper and lead that I separated from the second roundabout. Check all that big old stuff out. Hey, what's up, duders? Let's get a gold snuffer done from the second round. Align this a little bit better here. Check it out. 
There's a little bit of lead and copper in there. But there's a lot of bit of gold. Some big pieces too. This is from the second one, the second roundabout of uh, crushing up our slag, the smaller stuff. Wow, that is uh, really surprising. I mean, it shouldn't really be surprising because I'm really learning a lot about all this stuff, but wow, there's more, way more than I thought there would be. This is, and like I said, this is the second go around. That's all super fine gold, along with some copper. But look at all that stuff, man. That's my thumbnail. <laughs> now let's dump the first roundabout in there. Let's see what we got. Ooh, there was a lot more material in that one that I didn't get cleaned. Alrighty. Just a little bit more. I like M&M's too. What? Ooh, I want some. First thing showing up is all the black material slag that I didn't separate out. Copper. Oops. Oh, those are crispies. Crispy M&Ms. Lead. Me too. But the king of all kings is right there. Wow. Check it out. There's little BBs down in here still. I like all the ones that you, you you're eating. Can I have them all? <laughs> Look at all that pretty gold up there. It's not really pretty actually, but it's gold. Wow. And all that super fine up there too. So that was part two of our crushing gold slag. I hope you guys enjoyed that. We've got all this stuff we need to a little bit more clean up and try to separate all the bigger copper out. And uh, stay tuned for part three where we smelt this stuff and get a gold button. Thanks for watching.